All right, we're going to do some examples of uh, problems using mid-segments of triangles. Remember, mid-segments are, um, oops, let's use black. Mid-segments are um, segments that connect uh, the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So you can see here we have a midpoint because these two uh, halves of a side are congruent. And then uh, same thing here, this is a midpoint because these two sides are congruent. And so that means that this that uh, segment there that's listed as 7 is a mid-segment. Right? So um, the things we know about mid-segments is that they are parallel to the third side. That means the third, the, the side that they're not connected to, right? Um, they're parallel to it, and they're half its length, right? So that means that this um, mid-segment, right, here is half the length of this third side right here, right? Okay? So what we can do then is say that 7 is one half of the length of the other one, which is 2t, right? And when we look at this, this is pretty simple because the 2's cancel, right? A half of 2 is 1, so 7 equals t. So pretty simple, pretty easy example there. And that's the answer, right? If, uh, the question would be asking to find the value of the variable, right? Uh, here's another problem where we want to find the value of the variable. And this one's a little more tricky. Um, <clears throat> we're given that the perimeter of this whole triangle is 32. Okay? And uh, we're given, then we have these three mid-segments, right? We can see these are mid-segments because uh, they connect the midpoints of the three sides, right? Um, we can see that, you know, each side is split into um, congruent halves. And so we have these mid-segments, and so we can make some equations using them, just like we did with that last one. Remember n, so, uh, remember the mid-segment is half the length of the other side, so we'll take n, that's parallel to CB, right? So n equals one-half CB, right? Okay, and then one-half n, right, is equal to one-half the side that is parallel to, which is AC. So equals one half AC, and then seven eighths n is equal to half of AB. So seven eighths n equals one half of AB. Um, so now we have these uh, these three relationships with n and these other three. Um, uh, lengths, C, B, A, C, and A, B. And we know something about those lengths, C, B, A, C, and A, B. We know that when you add them together that you get the perimeter of the triangle, which is 32. So C, B equal, uh, plus, right, plus A, C plus A, B equals 32, right? Um, and we can take each of these three equations and solve them for those three quantities, right? This one, if we solve it, um, we just multiply both sides by 2, we get 2n equals cb, right? This one, if we solve it, we just multiply both sides by 2, n equals ac. Of course, we're multiplying all the side, all, all, both sides by 2 in all of these problems. This one just comes out nice and easy. Uh, the third one, when we multiply both sides by 2, we get 14 eighths n equals a, b, um, which we can simplify, right? 7 uh, fourths n equals a, b. Well, now we can take each of these expressions, right, and plug them into this equation, right? So c, b is uh, 2n. AC is just N, and AB is 7 fourths N, and those all equal 32. Um, so we, the 
2n and the n combine to make 3n, which, uh, so we'll just put 3n uh, plus 7 fourths n equals 32. Now, we can't add a uh, fraction. Uh, I mean, we can make it 3 and 7 fourths, but that's not very convenient. Let's, let's figure out how many fourths uh, 3 is. So if we just multiply by 4 over 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So we get 12 uh, uh, fourths n plus 7 fourths n equals 32. So 7, uh, 7 plus 12 is 19. So we get 19 fourths n equals 32. We can multiply both sides by 4 and we get 19n equals 128. And uh, divide both sides by 19, uh, 19 and n equals 128 over 19. Um, and I don't think 19 would go in evenly. Um, or maybe it does. Let's see. No, it doesn't, 19 divided, that's 128 divided by 19 is, is a little, between 6 and 7. And since 19 is prime, they're not going to have any common factors, so we can't reduce that. So that's our answer. N is 128 over 19, or about 6.7. Uh, so you can round that if you want to. But there's an example that's a tricky problem. There's a lot involved. Um, but there's these three relationships, right, that we were able to figure out from the start that um, helped us to get the answer and then and then of course this relationship which was kind of the given okay which um, helped us to answer this problem and there you go